really quiet there's like a low hum b- b- under you <laughs> i wonder why all right so i'm gonna... weird i just turned it all the way up and we can hear you right can you can everybody mike can you hear me okay yeah okay good all right good 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 well welcome to winning wednesday i'm glad that you guys made it here this morning got uh, a really strong training for you today on recruiting. So we're going to be jumping into that in a few minutes. But before we get started, as you guys know, we've got a little tradition here. Always like to start this morning with a little bit of positive news and or something exciting that's happening in your business. I would love to hear uh, maybe bragging on somebody else in your team. So I'm going to open it up here for the first couple of minutes. Would love to hear from you. I will hop on and brag. I just, I'm really excited because we've had a lot of momentum within the candy crew. We've had, I think about 30 team members in the last week and a half. How many Uh, many did you say? Say say that again. Close to 30 in the last week and a half. And a lot of it is happening because of our new rock star, Meg Priest. She's just brought in seven new incredible team members who are also just rocking and rolling and sharing it and they get it. They understand what we have here. So also I want to give a shout out to Christine Stone Painter. I want to give a shout out to M. I want to give out a shout out to, I know Brenda just onboarded somebody. I know Randy and Sue Shapiro just went diamond. Like there's just a lot going on within Candy Crew. So there's, if I didn't give you a shout out and you guys have been building Cheryl Radloff, she's been onboarding some new people as well. So just lots of lots of going on and people are excited and feeling the momentum. So I just want to give everybody a shout out. And also I have to do this, Travis, I have to give you a shout out because you have been giving us so much support. You show up when we ask, no matter if it's seven in the morning or six o'clock at night, you're there with us. You're meeting the new team members. You're helping us, you know, with the three-way calls and the Zoom. So I just have to say thank you for your support from all of us. You are welcome. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Who else has got some good news or something exciting or positive that they want to share in their business? Would love to hear from you. I just want to give a, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. I just want to give a shout out to all the ladies. It seems like the ladies are rolling with this. And I, I think my focus for the next 90 days is going to be sponsoring women because the women have their stuff together. <laughs> I, I cleaned it up a little bit. I saw that. But yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't had, I mean, obviously we're, we're back and rocking and rolling at the club and I haven't had a lot of opportunity, but I, I'm working on some things right now. But I, I think the ladies... I think the connectivity that you have with the candy crew, with you obviously with uh, 
with just just the testimonials that we get from our page even though that we haven't we haven't sponsored a lot of people from our page but we put fun facts up not just with apl stuff and we try to make it light and hearty and, and not try to oversell our product, but we just try to make sure that people are aware of what's going on with the company. And I think you're gonna see some things happening in, in at least our organization uh, probably in the next 30 days, hopefully. Good, I agree. The women have it together. What's oh. that, what is it, 80% of millionaires in network marketing are ladies. So yeah. they, uh, they, they, they are the connectors. They're the- Now if Cheryl's on, I would just say that women talk more but <laughs> oh, I love it. that's so funny oh honey i didn't mean that if you're on i don't know where you're at but yeah cheryl did i see you i think i saw you with a little skincare in your hand just a minute ago i saw a little blue bottle yeah yeah blue yeah bottle. she's got me using it yeah got a little collagen spray i love that all right anybody else have somebody they'd like to brag on some exciting news that they'd like to share about what's going on in their business I want to just jump in right, right quick and say something really um, um, important that um, here over the past couple of weeks, I've kind of had a stop stick thrown at me and um, to kind of, they thought they were cute, um, but um, speaking to um kelly bauer and sarah and a few others um have um helped me persevere through this little game if you may um that this one particular person is trying to do to me and um honey you can throw a stop stick in my path you can um knock me off the side of the road you know, I'm still going to be on top. And I want to thank everybody on this team for your support, for your words of continuing words of encouragement. And also for you, Travis, for being, um, being there and giving us um, everything. And I'm sorry I'm being emotional, but um, that's just how I roll sometimes. So thank you, everybody. Brenda, we love you. We appreciate you. And that's what we're here for, right? To encourage and lift and raise each other up so that's what it's all about anybody else have anything uh good news or something they'd like to share about their business something exciting or somebody they'd like to brag on all right i just wanted to take a minute and say thank you to sarah and kevin i just i their support and their friendship and this family is literally just everything. My husband and I wake up every day and he's like, I'm so thankful that we get to have these people in our lives. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of you, every one of you on this call, everyone who shows up that's here, that's intentionally focused. We just, we just love all of you. And I'm so thankful to be a part of this family and happy Wednesday, guys. Thanks so much, Meg. We appreciate you. Keep bringing the energy. Keep bringing those lives. We love it. All right. Last shout out. Anybody else have anything they want to share? Anything exciting they want to share before we get started? All right. Speak now or forever hold your peace. So we are going to go ahead and uh, jump right into it. So just a quick reminder that we've got a couple of events that are happening here this weekend coming up. So we have, uh, first of all, on Saturday, we have an event happening in uh Costa Rica. And if you have any contacts that are there, we're going to be at the Intercontinental Hotel in San Jose, Costa Rica. We have several events that are happening throughout the day on Saturday. So our first event is at 11 o'clock. Um, the women's event is at three o'clock. And then we have another event happening at five o'clock, all in the Grand Ballroom Hotel there in Costa Rica. Um, I'll be leaving for that event starting tomorrow uh, and traveling down there. So if you have any contacts you'd like for me to meet with, please feel free to send them our way. Of course, we're going to be filling the stories and the, and, the, and the group with the energy from the, from the meeting and lives and those type of things uh, as well. So just kind of stay plugged in. And then, of course, on the, on the Sunday, the 22nd, we have Bogota. I have all of the event details that are posted in our team page. But uh, we've got an event or a couple of events happening, uh, one at two o'clock, one at five o'clock in Bogota on Sunday. And from just kind of the energy that's happening around both of these events, I'm expecting quite a few people to be there. So it should be a great event. We would love for you to, uh, 
If you've got contacts there at all, let me know. I'd be happy to meet with them, say hello, um, chat with them on your behalf. So just get in touch with me if you have that. So with that today, we're going to talk a little bit. We're going to get into some recruiting training today. So how many of you would like to go sponsor 20 people in the next 30 days in your business? Just, just by dropping an eye into the comments section, in the chat section. If you want, you'd like to go sponsor 20 people in the next 30 days into the comments section, then drop an eye. I want to hear from you. And, and before we begin, I'm going to put a couple of people on the spot here. Some of our top recruiters, some of the people that are just constantly putting new people into the business and you know showing up day in and day out. And I want to ask them their one tip. There was one quick tip about recruiting or something that they do that makes a significant difference when it comes to recruiting. So Dr. Aaron, obviously, I want to call on you. Sarah, I want to call on you. Meg, I want to call on you. I want you to give me, in two minutes or less, just something that you can share about recruiting that is a big, makes a huge difference for you. So what makes a huge difference for me is I actually talk to humans <laughs> um, and consistently. And I use the script that we all are using and I don't do anything unique. There's no secret, but I talk to humans and belief has a sound and I always use my voice. I have not once ever sent a text and I get people on the phone and pretty much they all convert. And anyone on our team that gets people on the phone, we pretty much convert. So if you're trying to do this by not talking to humans, it's going to be a slow struggle. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Dr. Aaron, Kevin and Sarah. So Kevin and Sarah rock and roll and they're approaching Got it. She, she texts me, just so you guys know, she texts me every day, if not every day, every other day. Um, I'm going to read you a text that Kevin sent me last night at about 1030 last night. So here's what Kevin said to me. Kevin says, I hope you know, okay, and know with a capital, with absolute certainty that we have the best product in the entire network marketing industry. And of course, the best compensation plan, holy uh Blank. This is it, brother. We are going to make history together blessed. So that's what he sent me last night at 10, 11. So that has a lot to do with their success. It's that right there, that energy, that excitement, that belief. And uh, right now, Kevin and Sarah, I've been telling them this, they're in the pocket, like they're in the zone. You know, we get into these, these zones where you were just unstoppable. Um, they're in the zone right now and they're doing an amazing thing. So Kevin and Sarah, either one of you guys, give me a quick tip on recruiting. So... Kevin is really, really good. I'll just speak on his behalf because he's not on right now. He's with Leo. Um, he's really good at making a fast connection, really fast connections, asking lots of questions. I do the questions too. Um, talking less, listening more and quickly getting them into the ATM, you know, our testimonial group, walking them through the process, getting them in front of a video Again, asking lots of questions and keeping that connection going, no matter how long it takes to walk them through the process. And at the end of the day, a three-way call is so crucial. It doesn't matter who it's with. It can be with your spouse. Usually I'll use Kevin or Kevin will use myself. But when it comes to bigger builders or more experienced people, we'll call Travis, we'll call Kari, we'll call Meg. It doesn't matter who it is. If you need that testimony. If you need that story, I love how Dr. Aaron says it, we're story selling. And that's so important. We have to stop fact telling and we have to start story selling. Beautiful. Thank you, Sarah. Appreciate it. Meg, you're on. All right. So I'm going to be a little unconventional. Um, I'll be honest, you guys, I, I did, I did the scripts. I did the mass recruiting. I've done a lot of the things and I ended up with a team that was a dumpster fire. And so I, I kind of did things differently and believe it or not, I just stopped giving an F and I started just being my actual authentic self. And what organically happened was people that, that had that same vibe that were like, you know what, I'm sick of the same things too. I'm ready to do things differently. I want to partner with you. And I haven't had to cold message or actually reach out to anybody in these last couple of weeks, these are just organic people that are coming and I'm actually being choosy with who I'm working with because I want to make sure that our company stays ethical. I want to make sure that we bring in good quality people. So I do things a little differently. And when I see the value there, I definitely agree with Sarah that, you know, having that third party validation, bringing them in, letting them talk to other people and feel the vibe of what's different 
that's that's what really makes a difference here is is being able to have a connection and truly and honestly let people see that we are just real people. And I also agree with Dr. Aaron. I do not send text. Voice messages are it. If you're not using voice messages, people are tuning you out and they already have a preconceived notion about what you're trying to pitch them. Voice messages show authenticity and that is absolutely the way to go. So that was my nugget. Authenticity is the gateway to building true relationships. So true, so true, so true. And um, quality over quantity, you know, especially when you're launching your business. I did the same thing, right? In the beginning, I kind of envisioned before going wide, I thought, man, who do I, if I've got 20 chairs, you know, picture a board boardroom with 20 seats around it. I'm like, who do I want sitting at the table with me to launch this thing? And I went after the people that I cared about, the people that I, or the people that I influenced, people that I trusted, people that I liked. You know, life's too short to work with people that you don't like. I'm just going to tell you guys that right now. I've made that mistake way too many times. So I love everything that you guys shared. We can stop the train right there because it's so good. But I'm going to keep rocking and rolling. Uh, first of all, I'm going to give you four things about recruiting that you need to know. Okay, four things. So if you're taking notes, this would be a good time to grab a success journals. Number one is. Um, 80% is in the preparation. 80% of recruiting is in the preparation. So what do I mean by that? I'm talking about your competence, right? So one of my favorite quotes is they knew who she was when, they, when she walked into the room. Think about that statement. They knew who she was when she walked into the room. You've probably been in a room, it could be coffee shop or restaurant, and somebody walked in and the energy changed, right? They're a thermostat. They changed the energy or the temperature in the room just by walking in. So the question is, are you a thermostat or are you a thermometer? Are you the person that walks in and changes the temperature in the room or are you the person that comes in and takes the temperature of the room? Um, confidence is the most attractive quality on the planet. And so confidence, you've got to work on your confidence. Where does that come from? Taking action, taking deliberate and consistent action. So that's number one, um, belief. Right? I mean, I read you a, a text that I got from Kevin in a 10 and 11 last night. His belief system's up here. And as a result of that, they're approaching hundreds of people that they personally enrolled into the business. That's, that's all you know, belief in yourself, belief in your company, belief in your vision and where it is that you're going. You're not just selling a product. Listen to this. You're not just selling a product. You're selling a result. You're not just selling an opportunity. You're selling a result. So what do I mean by that? I'm talking about I'm not just selling someone on the fact that they can join EPL Go and sharing that opportunity with them. I'm talking about what it's going to do for them over the next three to five years. I'm talking about the result of being a part of APL Go. So it's in the confidence. It's in the belief. It's in your posture, right? I call it moxie. Um, it's not the goal itself. It's the feeling you will have when you achieve the goal, right? That's what you're sharing. It's not the, it's not just, Hey, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, looking forward, or I, I, you know, I'm getting, I want to be able to retire my husband. I want to be able to retire my spouse. Great. How's that going to make you feel? How's that going to make a difference in your life? That's what you're sharing, right? It's leaning forward. It's, it's no selling versus it's, it's more about serving, right? It's how you talk. It's how you walk. It's how you shake hands. It's your vision. It's your big vision because your big vision serves as a magnet that attracts people to you. So how big is your vision? Do you have the ability to be able to articulate that vision? And if you don't, then you need to write it out and you need to read it every day until you can recite it. It's your big story. It's who do you want to be? Um, you know, pick the leaders that you want to be and emulate them. Just do the things that they're doing. So it's 80% recruiting and it's 20% process. What do I mean by process? Eight steps of contacting and inviting with Eric Ward. They're great. And it's a great outline. But the truth is, 80% comes from just your energy, your confidence, your belief, your posture. At the end of the day, if you're just excited and you're incompetent about where you're going, people are going to want to know what you're up to. Period. End of story. So number one, I'll write these down. So number one, not with that part. Preparation. Okay. Number two, it's the it is it's the invitation, right? It, it is the invitation. So you've got eighty percent preparation, 
And then you've got the invitation. And the invitation, you need to master the skills, right? You need to master leaving a voice message when it comes to a, a, you know, a Facebook messenger or sending a text message. You need to master what you're going to say. You know, hey, Brenda, listen, hope that 2021 is treating you right. Listen, I'm you know, working on a project right now that I'm super excited about. Best thing about it is nobody even knows about it yet. Listen, uh, I'm looking for a handful of people that want to lock arms with me over the course of the next one to two years and go make a fortune. I would love to leave a little teaser video with you right here into this chat with your permission. Let me know if you're open to taking a closer look and I'll drop that message right here for you. How does that sound to you? Right, you've got to be able to say that and just get it out there and reach out to those people. So it's invitation, master the skills, right? Here's the third thing. Presentation. Your goal should be to get to the point where you can do a presentation as quickly as possible. Your goal should be to get to a presentation as quickly as possible or to be able to do a presentation. My goal when I sponsor someone is within 30 days, they should be able to do a presentation. Now, you still want to bring in third-party validation, all of those things, but you should be able to give a presentation. Yes, we have third parties. Third, you know, uh, I, love, I love our app. I love our app. I had somebody I was just talking to over the weekend, and we were chatting back and forth about the business. Went into my phone. Boom, fired off some of those things. So they're already in there. But just for your own competence, you should be able to get to a point where you can give a presentation. You should be able to pull, 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 get on Zoom, share your screen and go through a presentation. Okay, so learn to present. I'm talking about like next week. It's one of the best things that you could do for your own competence. There's a saying, he, who, he or she who holds the marker makes the most money. It's true. It's just true. So learn to present. It will do amazing things for your confidence. And then number four is the follow-up, right? The fortune is in the follow-up. And you've got to, you know, listen, what more information do you need to make a decision? There's your question. So when you follow up with somebody, say, hey, what did you like best? They say, well, you know, I watched the video and this and this, and I had some questions and they asked the questions and we get through that and say, great. What more information do you need to make a decision? Right? Or on a scale of one to 10, 10 being that I'm ready to get started, one being that I want absolutely nothing to do with this business, where do you see yourself? Well, I'm a six. Okay, great. So what do we need to do to get you to a 10? What additional information do you need? And if they say, I don't want or two, not really interested in the business, I'm going to say, you know what? Totally understand that. And I appreciate you taking a look. Let me ask you this. Would you be open to being a customer of mine? I always come back around. If somebody tells me no to the business, I say, no, that's, I really appreciate you taking a look. You know, I've always respected your opinion. Would you be open to being a customer of mine and ordering a box? I have never had someone say no to that, ever. They'd be like, yeah, I could do that. Great. There you go. Now you've got a customer. So those are the four things. Now, let's talk about the types of people that we're looking for. Meg said, look, you know, I'm being more choosy this go around. I don't want to dumpster fire. I love that. I'm being more choosy. Okay, so what are we looking for? Well, my number one thing I'm looking for, just so you know, is people that are ambitious. People that are hungry, as Les Brown would say, right? I want people that are ambitious. I want people that are hungry. I want people that are at high noon. You know what high noon is? High noon is where people are looking for change. They're sick and tired of being sick and tired. What they're doing is not working. Their life was just turned upside down. Their back is against the wall and they're hungry. Those are the people that I'm looking for. I'm looking for people that hate their job. Okay, there's people. Listen, 70 something percent of the people that go to work every day don't like their job. They would rather be at home with their family or being an entrepreneur and starting their own business. They just need somebody to carry the torch and show them the way, right? So people that hate their job. I'm uh, looking for people who want more. Just more in life. These are the people that I'm after. I'm not looking for people that are at six o'clock that are just kind of wandering aimlessly, you know, just kind of content, whatever, comfortable. Comfort is the enemy of progress. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for people who want more. I want you to hear this. And this is really, really important. You need people, but you don't need any one person. You need people, but you don't need any one person in your business. And you need to remember that. So don't be desperate. Nobody desperate is not attractive at all. I'm looking for people that live a healthy lifestyle, right? They're healthy. They're into their health. 
they're willing to spend a little bit of money on, on supplements and products that are going to improve their quality of life. You know, people that value their health, people that work out, people that shop at Trader Joe's, you know, they might spend just a little bit more money, but they, to them, it's an investment. This is their, this is their only vehicle, their only body they're going to get, and they realize it, right? So those are the people. And I want you to know there are many types of prospects that are out there, many types of prospects. Your job is not to convert people. You're looking for people who are already looking. You're just looking for people that are already looking. So, you know, it's kind of like if I had a, a bag of M&Ms, right? So if I had a bag of M&Ms and you were to start pulling out those bag of M&Ms, you know, you might get the, uh, you know, the people that don't have, they don't, they don't want to join because they don't have time, right? They don't have time. That's the red. Okay, great. So that's a red m and then there's the, oh, I just don't know anybody. I don't know anyone. Okay, great. That's a brown. Nobody likes brown M&Ms. Put that away. Okay. Then you have, you know, oh, I'm just not cut out for this kind of stuff. That's a yellow. Okay, great. Yellow. We'll talk about that. Listen, then you have the blues, right? I'm too cool for network marketing. Like I would never do something like that. I was one of those at one time, early on in my lifetime, right? So those are the blues. And so round, here's the thing. We go round and round, back and forth with all of these different people. And we come back with our little clever comebacks and trying to cram that square peg into a round hole. Stop the nonsense. Stop the nonsense, seriously. There's plenty of people who are green M&Ms. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. There's plenty of people that are green M&Ms. And you know what? The ones who are entrepreneurs or the entrepreneurs in the making they're open to making money. They're open to, 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 to making more time. They'll be open-minded. The busiest people I know are the most successful people that I know that are the most open people that I know. Why? That's why they're successful. They learn the skills that are necessary. They will meet the people. They will figure it out. Everything is figure outable. The best and most successful people in my organizations, just to be honest with you, just figured it out. They just got started and figured it out. You know, they started reading, watching things, watching leaders, kind of emulating, finding their own style, figured it out, went to work. They'll find the money to get started. The greens, they'll go, they'll find the money. Oh, I don't have any money. You know, I'm kind of broke. I don't, don't, can't come up with the money. Guess what? A green, they'll figure it out. They'll find the money. They'll borrow the money. Do you know that I've borrowed a, borrowed a thousand dollars to get into my first network marketing business? I did a thousand bucks. I borrowed a thousand bucks. I paid it back in three weeks because I sponsored 20 people in my first two weeks. In my third week, my check came and I came and gave Steve his thousand dollars back. Because I was, he, I, I was embarrassed to tell him I didn't have the money. I wanted to do it. And so we were trying to figure out how to come up with the money. And a couple of days came by and Steve showed up on my doorstep with an envelope with a thousand dollars and said, I believe in you. Let's go do this. He gave me a thousand bucks. And I'm not saying you should go pay for people to get started. You know, because often that doesn't work. In this case, he knew I wanted to do it. I was embarrassed to tell him I didn't have the money, but he knew because we were family friends. So um, let's talk a little bit about success habits. Um, you've got to learn how to find prospects, right? So posers in this industry, Eric Ori calls them posers. Um, they work from a mental list. They've got this mental list in their head of people that they're constantly working from. And I'm just going to tell you guys, it doesn't work. Amateurs, they may have a little written list, you know, a little written list somewhere. Pros, they add to the list every single day. They leave their house with the intention to come home with three to five new people to put on their list every single day. There literally is very few places in the planet that you could go to right now and not see humans or meet people that are desperately searching for solutions. Now more than ever before in the history of our economy, people are going to bed tonight saying prayers, asking for financial solutions. Hello, you have the ability to help them. So how do you make a comprehensive list? Well, let me ask you a question. How many friends do you have on Facebook? Right, when somebody says, I don't know anybody, I'm like, great, how many friends do you have on Facebook? Every person, go through all the lists. How many people are in your cell phone? The average person has hundreds of contacts in their cell phone. Right? How many people are on your email contact list? Have you gone through every single one of them? Have you gone back five years through all of your emails? Because I guarantee the people you're emailing five years ago are not the people that you're interacting with today. Um, second degree of separation. 
Who do those people know? Right? Who do those people know? You know, if you're young, call your mom and dad's friends. I mean, they know people. You should be working. Listen, if you're if you're just starting, you should be putting two new people a day in process minimum with the goal to get to five as soon as you can. Like two a day, you would be amazed at what two a day would do for your business in six months. If five a day, every day, consistently five days a week doing the proper follow-up, you're on your way to six figures within 12 months. It's just consistency, business cards at coffee shops. I literally have gotten up in one day and said, okay, I don't have anybody to talk to, got in my car, went to a coffee shop, stared at the board with all of the cards and took one of every single person's card and came home, put them all onto my list and started reaching out and introducing myself, calling. Why? Because they're entrepreneurs. They're entrepreneurial minded. Network on purpose. Don't hide. Stop hiding. Get out from behind your computer and go meet people. Join a gym. Get to know the staff, people behind the counters. Summer and I, every morning, we go drop off the kids. We go straight to the gym. And I know both the people that are at the counter because I go there all the time and I talk to them. Become interesting. How do you do that? Express interest in others. You know, if you're on social media, constantly interact, encourage, praise. You know, I can't tell you how the investment of pouring into others over time, celebrating their victories and their successes, even when they're with other companies, has come around to serve me when their situations have changed. So, so don't just get on social media to just scroll mindlessly. Do it with a purpose. Do it with intention. Do it to interact with as many people as you can and figure out ways to get outside the algorithms so that you can interact with new people. Go look at the birthdays every day. Type in today's birthdays. I guarantee you're going to go, holy heck, I haven't even seen some of these people in a long time. And go interact with them. Um, become more acutely aware of what's going on around you. Just let's start listening. You know how many times I've said, listen, I don't mean to intrude, but I overheard your conversation. Were you serious when you said that you were looking for a solution to this? Maybe I can help. Right? So just become more acutely aware of what's going on around you. Learn to ask the right questions. You know, there's three basic questions that I've used for over a decade that have made all the difference in my business. Number one, are you happy? Number two, do you have a plan in place to give you everything you want in life? And number three, if no, would you like to see one? Would you like to see one? Are you happy? Do you have a plan in place to give you everything you want in life? If no, would you like to see one? It doesn't have to sound so robotic. You can ask these questions a number of different ways. Ask questions. Um, everywhere you go, someone is fighting a battle. Just know that. Everywhere you go, someone is fighting a battle. And you, you hold the solution in your hands. So we're actually being selfish if we don't share it with others. We're being selfish. Let them decide if it's right for them or not. Eight to 10 people can't afford, eight out of 10 people can't afford or don't have three months of savings in the bank. 80%, 80%. Sarah, what was the question that I asked you when we were having a conversation? Aaron, you'll relate to this question too because I asked it to the both of you. What question did I ask you that gave you an aha moment? So I'll probably butcher it, but it was along the lines of in your current situation, not in hopes, but realistically with the way things are going right now in your current situation, do you see yourself achieving all of your hopes and dreams the way things are going? And I couldn't say yes. My answer immediately was no. And that was something that I was already aware of, but having it asked to me so directly and making me actually answer it forced me to accept it. Based on your current circumstances, based on what you're working on right now, if you continue doing what you're doing right now, do you see yourself accomplishing your goals and dreams over the next one to two years? One of the most powerful questions you can ask somebody. Because they have to really evaluate that. 
And when they say no, now you have, well, let's talk about that a little bit, right? Top leaders pay attention to everybody that they meet. It's one thing that I've observed. They just pay attention to everyone that they meet. They look for opportunities to connect everywhere that they go. Last night, I got a, a, an inbox. It was like 10 o'clock at night. This guy, Adam, in one of my previous companies goes, hey, do you know Rick Flaherty? I said, my dad's Rick Flaherty. And he said, um, does he live in this state? And, he, and he, it's not my dad. But I said, oh, no, I don't. And I says, but I still love to, can I always love to connect with like-minded people. And um, he shows me a little picture of him. I said, man, it looks like this is somebody I'd get along with. Will you connect us on Facebook? Love to do, you got the same last name. Love to explore and see if there's some commonalities there somewhere in the family tree. I don't care if there is or not. <laughs> it's just a way for me to connect with a new person, right? So always looking for new ways. Ask yourself, who did I meet today and add them to your list? You go meet a new realtor. If you meet somebody about an inspection, if you meet, you know, if you are at a restaurant, you know, ask the waiter, listen, tell them, I'd love to have somebody like you in my business. They're going to say, really, what do you do? Great, funny, you should ask. Don't have a lot of time to get into it right now, but if I sent you some information, would you watch it? Successful people, listen, successful people don't turn a blind eye to opportunity. End of story. They just don't. And one of my secrets to success has always been sponsoring up. It's the act of going after those who are already successful, um, moving up the socioeconomic ladder instead of down. People who are successful in their field are more likely to have expendable income. And they're more likely to be excited about enrolling in your business because they're open to opportunity. And sponsoring up also gives you a good chance to network with others that are successful by asking them who they know. So a lot of people, I don't know why we have this habit in this industry, but we join a business and the first thing we ask ourselves, who's the brokest person that I know? Look, we want to save everybody, but I'm going to tell you right now, there's probably a reason that many of them are broke. I hate to say it because of their habits. And we tend to want to be, and that's fine. We want to give the opportunity to everybody. We want to make a difference. But when I'm launching my business, I don't want the brokest person that I know sitting at my board of directors table. I want the most successful people that I know. So we need to widen our horizons a little bit when recruiting in this business. In order to recruit for your network marketing business, you always need to be observant. You always need to be prepared. And don't let any opportunity pass you up. I was driving home one day. We were in this 30 days to director challenge. And, and one of the things that day one that the leader said is, that, you know, I'm, we're going to start something called Are You Standing? And that means, did you talk to at least one person? I just want you to get into the habit of talking to one person a day about your business. And every time that we meet or every time we get on a phone call or conversation, if one of the leaders asks you, are you standing? That's what they're referring to. So one day I'm coming home and I made myself a promise that I was going to do this. And so I was about halfway through and I'm driving home and I literally was coming home from being gone all day in, in, in business and I was tired. And it was like, I don't know, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And I realized that I had not talked to anybody about my business. So I came across this realtor sign. I still picture it. I'm driving in my blue little car. Left side is the lake over here. The right side is this, 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 you know, the houses. And I see the sign and it says Gary Ford, you know, realtor, house for sale. I'm like, I'm just going to call Gary Ford. He's going to be my one person. I don't know who he is, but I'm going to call him. So I literally, boop, he answers the phone. And, and I, just so you know, was expecting to get his voicemail. But he answered his phone. Hi, Gary. My name is Travis Flaherty. You don't know me. I live in Saratoga Springs, Utah. I came across your real estate sign here in, the, in, in, in my neighborhood. And you know what? I'm just reaching out because, you know, I'm looking for like-minded individuals. Uh, I'm working on a business right now that we're introducing and launching here in the Valley. And, you know, we've had um, tremendous success working with, with realtors like yourself. And I just was wanting to know if you're open to taking a closer look. And you know what he said? Sure. What you got? I didn't know what to do next because I wasn't prepared for that. I was like, uh, uh, and I fumbled my way through the next few minutes because I was not expecting that. So I think I threw up on him, but here's the bad rest of the story. So send me some information. I'll take a look at it. So the next day he, he, uh, he responds and he says, well, I didn't tell you on my initial call, but I was a 10 star director at Amway and I'm now retired and I'm looking to get back into the game. I immediately am like, oh my gosh. So I called the, call the best leader that I know in our company. His name was Randy Schrader. I'm like, Randy, I got this guy named Gary Ford. He goes, I know Gary Ford. I know who he is. He's done some big things in this industry. I said, he wants to look at our company. Would you be willing to do a three-week call today? Got back to Gary. He says, Gary, I got my, my, you know, my upline leader, my, my mentor, Randy Schrader. 
I told him all about you. And he goes, I know who Randy Schrader is. And I said, well, listen, I, he knows who you are. And he's dying to say hello to you. Are you free today? They got on the phone. I ended up signing up as 10-star Amway director. It's my business. It's probably worth hundreds of thousands of dollars in income. From a called sign, real estate sign. So that's just one example of a market that can be tapped into by simple observation techniques. And anytime you're approached with a sales pitch, you know, whatever it is, let that person know about your opportunity. They're pitching you, pitch them. Check bulletin boards and community forums for listings for people who are also trying to sell products or services. Prospecting takes creativity, you guys. Prospecting takes creativity. So be creative with who you target. Think outside the box to open up more possible prospects. Remember that the world around you is full of opportunity. And in order to tap into all of these possibilities, you need to be perceptive. You need to be tenacious. So build your business by sponsoring up. Um, so just, just a little recap here as we wrap up today. Number one, um, I would say know your worth. Know your worth. If you don't believe in yourself, why would anybody else believe in you? a question that some of you have to answer. If you don't know yourself, why would anybody else believe in you? Posture is everything. You're not needy. Confidence, not arrogance. Uh, confidence in your goals and dreams. If you can't believe in your goals and dreams. If you can't even get excited about your goals and dreams, then why would anybody else get excited? With that? So know your worth. Know what you bring to the table. Um, no is a requirement for success. Knows a requirement for success. It's just, it is. Bill Britt, the number one earner in Amway, who earned, I think, I don't know his exact numbers, but tens of millions, maybe more, said, look, you know, there's no secret. I, I talked to 1,200 people. 900 said no. 300 said yes out of the 300 um, that, that said yes. 80 did anything at all. And out of the 80, 12 made me a millionaire. That's it. I'm kind of butchering the quote a little bit. You can Google it and see exactly what he said. But that was it pretty much. 1,200 people, 900 said no, 300 said yes. Out of the 300 that said yes, 80 did anything at all. Out of the 80 that did anything at all, 12 made in a million. Um, out of every 100 oysters, there's typically three that have a pearl. Out of every 100 oysters. So you need to go, you need to go get your 100 oysters. Mentor one said to me, I said, I need to get six figures. He says, how quick do you sponsor 100 people? I says, why do you mean? He says, because typically it takes 100 people to get to six figures. So you tell me how quick you can get there. Do you want to do it in six months? Do you want to do it in a year? Do you want to do it in three years? Do you want to do it in five years or 10 years like most people? Because the reality is how quickly can you go sponsor 100 people? And here's the thing. If every one of you on this call right now, like literally, I started the call by saying, how many of you want to sponsor 20 people in 30 days? Do you know that every one of you has the ability to do it? Like if you had a $100,000 challenge to go sponsor 20 people in 30 days, could you do it? I want to know, could you do it? Would you do it? Yes or no? $100,000. The only thing you have to do is go sponsor 20 people in 30 days. Of course you could. There's no question in my mind. So the answer isn't, can I do it? It's just a matter of, will you do it? There is no problem too big or too small in your business right now that 20 new recruits will not solve. Your business is dead. Nobody's doing anything. Great, go get 20 new people. I got nobody that's duplicating. Great, go get 20 new people. I got nobody to go do presentations in three-week calls besides me. Great, go get 20 new people. Like, if that's it, it's the answer. And when you get to 100, I promise you, you'd be able to ask Aaron, ask Sarah, Get to about 100 people, you're going to get six figures. Sometimes a little bit less, as, as you, especially if you learn the skills of sponsoring up and sponsoring successful people. But you, and you also need to fall in love with the process, not the result. You just need to fall in love with the process, not the result. You know, it's just the, the work, just the day in, day out activity of personal growth, perseverance. Last thing I ask myself um, when I, my head hits the pillow at night is what happened today that I can be grateful for? What happened in my life or in my business that I can be grateful for? And I ask myself that question. And then I, a lot, a lot of times, will fall asleep going through and answering that question in depth. So fall in love with the process, not the result. Um, last thing I'll say is other people's opinions are irrelevant. I'm done 
placating to the crowd. I'm going to be me. You be you. You know, it's not like, and, and, and stop worrying about what people think. It's not like I meet somebody. I met somebody the other day who's an accountant, Erica, friend of ours. I didn't go, oh, you're an accountant? You're one of those? Oh my gosh. Like, I don't, we don't do that. So why are we worried about it as people find out that we're network marketers, right? Um, don't get defensive. There's a difference between offense and defense. If somebody's like, oh, is that one of those things? Don't get defenses. Just know that that's probably a limiting belief in themselves or a limiting belief in network marketing, right? So they're probably saying to themselves, oh, I don't know anybody. Is this true? Is this, you know, I'm too young. I'm too old. I don't have any money. So, you know, avoid, don't be that guy or that girl that's like, oh, you're in one of those jobs just over broke. Don't insult people, right? That, that's not who we want to be. Look for opportunities to relate, right? I understand how you feel. I, I used to feel the exact same way about the industry. Let me tell you what I found. Feel felt found, right? Um, I think I'm going to stop there for the day. I probably could keep going on this training, so we'll, we'll maybe do a part two here in the near future. But um, I hope that you heard something today that just kind of got you to go, yeah, you know, I need to, I need to step up my game just a little bit. I'm going to open it up for any questions, comments, feedbacks, thoughts um, before we wrap up today. So open it up and go for it. Spot on, Travis. A couple of things that you shared um, hit the nail on the head for me. So I'm, like I said, somebody threw a stop stick in my path and I'm like, you know, I ain't got time for this. Brown so, yeah. M&M, go find a green one. Next. <laughs> that's, that, that's, that, that's it. Just go, let's go find green M&Ms. Anybody have any other questions, thoughts, comments before we wrap up? I think everybody needed that refresher. I think these are things that most of us know. And if we're new to the industry, it's something that you better get familiar with because all of this is going to be the rest of your career. And if you fall in love with, just helping people and going through this step by step, you will be as successful as you want to be. Amen. Well said. I love what you said, Travis, about following, uh, falling in love with the process and not the outcome. And I, I couldn't agree with that more. I think there's so much to be learned in the process and if we don't take time, we sometimes miss out and we have to keep repeating these lessons over kids so i appreciate it gold today thank you thank you thank you you're welcome i'm gonna i'm gonna leave you guys with one of my favorite things to, to, that, that i've heard or said to a prospect so look meg no matter how much we all make most of us end up with the same amount of money at the end of the month so i looked at this and i said man if i can invest 600 bucks it was worth it to be able to travel create some extra money and invest that income and start building my wealth account, I thought, why not? Just, you know, that something like that is going to get someone to go, yeah, I can relate to that. You know, look, no matter, no matter how much money we all make, we all end up with the same amount of money at the end of the month. And so I looked at this and I said, you know what? I can invest 600 bucks. It'd be worth it to be able to travel, create some extra income. And then I can invest that income and start building my wealth account. And you know what? I decided to give it a shot. When you're having a prospect that's having a hard time making a decision, something like that can be the thing that helps them go to go over the fence. So with that, guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. Really, really appreciate you guys being here. And um, let's go out and rock and roll. Five o'clock tonight, the Survivor, five o'clock Pacific, eight Eastern, the Survivor, uh, Tina D'Angelo, Kari, and Kelly Vincent, uh, and Tina Molson are going to be going over a recap of what it was like to be on the island. So look for those links in our team pages. Love to see you on that tonight. Should be fun to hear about their experiences. And let's go. Let's get busy. We've still got 12 days left of, left of this month. So let's make it happen. You guys have a great day today. Thank you, Thank Travis. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Love you, Kelly Bauer. Love you, Dr. Aaron. Hi, Greg.